Hello there and welcome to the series Topics in Audio Processing and Music Technology. I am Renato, the instructor for these online materials and the topic of today is DDSP Timber Transfer Demo. This is demo application developed by the guys from Magenta team. So if you go to github.com slash magenta slash DDSP and here you find something about the differentiable digital signal processing. So this is a library of differentiable versions of common DSP functions. So if you're not familiar with it, I give an overview about this uh, DDSP library in another tutorial. You can just go to our playlist and there you find the DDSP overview tutorial. And today we will get a demo application and we'll make a tutorial out of this demo. We will take a look at the timber transfer that converts audio between sound sources with pre-trained models. This is um, what we are going to do today. If you, if you click here, then you go to this Google Colab notebook. And this uh, notebook is a demo of timber transfer using the DDSP, the Differentiable Digital Signal Process. It uses pre-trained model. The model is trained to generate audio condition on a time series of fundamental frequencies and loudness. So this notebook extracts these features from input audio. Either we can upload files or we can record using the microphone and then it resynthesizes using this model. So what I'm going to do first is just we're just going to use this demo application go through without looking at the concepts and without looking at the code. We'll just run this application so we understand uh, what's happening. And then we will start exploring and investigating the concepts behind it and also the code behind it. So let's get started. This um, notebook will have a user input to then this audio signal will go through a neural network. Then there will be some digital signal processors and then we'll have the final signal. It is also possible to train your model with your own sounds and then they have a tutorial for it. That's very interesting. It's called the Train Autoencoder Colab and then you can use your own model also here in this demo application. But today we're just going through this demo application and then we will investigate the concepts and the code behind it. They um, ask to make sure that you are using the GPU so you can check here but we are using the GPU and we will run blessing this play here so let's get started the first cell will install the DSP and define some helper functions and download the model well, let's run this cell and this is installing from a big package so this first cell is done now we have this cell here where we find um, Colab form so we can choose here to record or to upload an mp3 or a WAV file and here we can choose how many seconds to record so have in mind that the audio that you record or that you uh, will use an mp3 file or a WAV file they should be uh, monophonic so it's a single instrument or voice and then this cell we also extract the fundamental frequency f0 and loudness features for this example, I am going to record just that I'm making some, some sounds uh, with my hand and then we will not upload. But later on, we will see what's behind the scenes here, what they are using to um, record audio or to upload. So this is where we will start the tutorial itself. For now, we are just running this um, application and we are going to check what is happening. Oh, well, let's run the cell. sounds that I just made with my hands so you cannot you can perceive a lot of wind and just some frequencies so let's uh, listen to it again then we have here this graph for the loudness it is extracting some audio features and it took 2.6 seconds to extract this audio features and here we have is um, F0 in terms of midi note 
and here we have the F0 confidence. And next, it asks for us to load a pre-trained model. So we have a violin, a flute, a second flute, a trumpet, and a tenor saxophone. And you can also upload your own if you have previously trained a model. So for this example, let's use the violin. So let's load the model. Let's loading data set statistics and restoring the model. Then we see also that we have now this pre-trained model and we have some files. We are going to take a look at these files later. Then you can also modify the conditioning. So you can uh, change the threshold for node detection. You can adjust some automatic adjustment. You can force speech to the nearest node. You can also shift the pitch some octaves and adjust the overall loudness. So we are not going to um, change these values now. Let's just run with the default parameters. So here we have now this uh, node on mask. So this is in blue the likelihood. And here we have the threshold and then we have the node mask. So there is one here, here is zero, here is one. We also have the loudness. So we have the original loudness and then we have some adjusted loudness. And here we have our F0. So now let's re-synthesize the audio. So let's run the cell. So it uh, took 0 0.4 seconds. Here we have the original. So this is the sound that I made with my hand. And now the resynthesis then should sound like a violin. Oh, indeed, it sounds like a violin. And it's very similar to what I played with my hands. Here we have two plots. Here is the original. And here we have the re-synthesis. So, let's listen one more time. This was the original, and now the violin resynthesis. Oh, very nice, very interesting. Let's now change a bit here these parameters. So, let's put the threshold uh -huh. So a quiet part without nodes detected. Let's let's make it a bit less. Let's auto tune. Let's put a bit more. The threshold. Let's make the threshold a bit smaller just to see uh, what we get from these new parameters. Let's run. Let's re-synthesize the audio oh really interesting let's just change model let's go for a uh, trumpet so load this new model now it should be a trumpet let's leave this conditioning that we have set before let's resynthesize the audio and let's listen to it Well, this uh, I already noticed this doesn't sound like a trumpet to me. It has some, in the beginning, some... There is some resemblance of a trumpet in the beginning, but when we have these changes 
here it becomes very obvious that the model could not handle it very well at least with these modifications also that we that we changed here but now now let's um, try one more model let's see how it sounds with the flute 2 let's leave the threshold back in uh, one so flute 2 let's set these parameters here let's risk synthesize this audio It's also uh, some kind of flute. It's definitely interesting that I would not. Uh, I'm also not an expert in flutes, so I cannot really tell what's going on there. Last, what we are going to do? Let's uh, let's load um, a tenor saxophone. Let's rethink the size. It sounds like a saxophone to me and it's also interesting because this is quite a hard um, audio that I just recorded with my hands so there is a lot of um, windy noise and the notes are not so uh, quietly uh, well defined when there is uh, too much noise and we see this structure vertical here in frequency <laughs> It sounds quite interesting to me. It's a saxophone, and this is not an easy original audio. There is some some noise. There is a lot of this windy. We could be uh, if we use record rec a record from an instrument. Maybe we could achieve much better results. But it's interesting enough to investigate well, let's go back to the to the violin this one is what um, i liked the most but now i want to shift the f0 a bit so let's uh, shift let's shift one octave let's resynthesize so this is the original And they reach into the size of violin. One octave higher. Let's go an octave lower. So that's it, what this demo application is doing. It's uh, definitely very interesting. So we're uploading or recording our audio and it tracks fundamental frequency and loudness features. Then we choose a model. We can change a bit some parameters of this model. Then we resynthesize and we also have these plots of the original and the uh, resynthesis so it's a time frequency spectrogram um, so now that we know what this application is about we tried with different parameters with different models we can start going into the details and to make a tutorial out of this demo